Okay, welcome back to Art with Mr. G. We are now shifting over to a fourth grade level project. And here's Mr. Grunman on the webcam. How's everybody doing? It's raining out there again. I can hear it on the rooftop. So we're going to focus on the page here. See if I can get that in focus here. Now this is a picture right here from an artist from Brazil. His name is Romero Brito. B-R-I-T-T-O. Romero Brito. And he's a contemporary artist, which means he's uh, alive now and he's doing work uh, today. So he's built um, himself kind of uh, famous following and his this is just one example of a picture that he painted and you can see that he uses a lot of bright colors he uses a lot of simple shapes this one's called a heart butterfly so you can kind of see there's a heart and then there's the head and the antenna and there's two wings one on each side there and it's kind of hidden in the picture but you can see it once it's pointed out, that's a heart butterfly. So that's one of his more famous works. And uh, I am going to draw a picture. And the, re the rest of the fourth graders are doing this as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a picture of an animal. And now this is sideways. Here, let's see. Can I fit this in here? So I've, I've found a dog. And it's a very simple picture of a dog or a puppy. So what you can do is you can, here I'm going to just do it sideways so you can see it sideways, so you can see the whole paper. Um, what you can do is you can look at Google and you can Google search easy animal drawings or if you have a certain animal in mind you could, let's say you really liked turtles. You say turtle drawing easy and it'll come up with very a, a bunch of turtles that you could draw so I drew a dog and I don't know if you can see the pencil lines that I drew in there but again they're very basic so after you've drawn a pencil line you take a sharpie and you outline it very thick again thick bold lines are going to help the colors really stand out later on and we're going to be filling this with lots of colorful patterns there's a little a little tongue here and then we've got the line down the middle that becomes its legs so we're going to trace those real carefully and then here comes the hind legs And the other one. And then, once you've got that drawn, let's see if I can move this camera a little bit so you can see the whole picture. Once you've got that drawn out, you, you want to make some spaces on the outside so we can add even more patterns. So all you need to do here, and it's kind of random, you just make some lines that go out to the outside of the paper. I always tell kids, think about it like a stained glass window that you might see in a church. It's got lots of different facets. The facets mean pieces to it. And actually, we can make this go right through the feet. And up here we can make the circle a little half circle and again we can make that go through the ear and then we've got another one that can go off right here and you just want to make decent sized areas that we can fill in later on I'm going to finish it with that one 
Okay, so let me get this back straight again for you. And then we have to fill in those areas with bright, colorful patterns. Now, again, if we go back to the Romero Brito picture, you can see that the areas that he filled in, they're not very complicated. It's not a real detailed pattern. It's just stripes, polka dots, very simple, simple little lines, maybe some curly cues every now and then, more lines here. It's not that complicated. And we don't want to make it that complicated. We want to make it real easy. So it doesn't really matter what colors you use either. What you want to do is you want to color in an area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a lighter color first. I'm going to use light green. And I'm going to outline it. And then I'm going to carefully color it. Then I'm going to bring a darker color. And again, I, want to, I think I want to stay with the greens. But turquoise is going to be darker than that green. And it's going to look really close, close to the green. So it's not going to mix and make some kind of brownish color. Now we can do this either polka dots or stripes or whatever we want to do. Um, I think I will make some polka dots in here. So we're going to make a circle. And we're going to color that in. And then we're going to try to make another circle and another circle. That one goes off. And we'll kind of make this into a pattern. Just lines of circles. And some of them, again, might go off into the black line that outlines a different area. And this one's going to go over here. And then we're going to start another row. I don't know if you can see any of those other ones. But that fills up that area real nicely. We can use some other colors. Yellow and orange would go really good together. They're real close to one another on the, on the color wheel. So again, we're going to carefully color in and you notice that I do this very slowly when you use markers slowly they work a lot better so you don't want to go too far in, or too fast like this because they dry out that way as well and you don't get a good bright color when you go too fast so I'm going to just finish that up make that all yellow and then like I said you get a darker color and yellow is a uh, orange is a little darker than yellow and this time we can do stripes I will do some diagonal stripes and see how that goes right over the yellow and then I'll skip a little space and I'll do another one and I'll do another one and I'll do one over here I'm just making orange stripes on that yellow field. And if you keep moving along, eventually you fill up the whole paper and it looks really, really great. Now I did another one with a rabbit and I'm almost done with it. I've got a few more spaces that I need to fill up. with that so let's see what could I do here this one over here looks like we could do something I'm gonna leave the tail white I think that's a good idea to have a little fuzzy cotton tail there um, the other thing you can do if you don't have colors that uh, like these two colors wouldn't go over one another very well teal and orange aren't very close to one another on the color wheel. So what we what you can do there is you can make a stripe
Okay, you can make it straight with one color, then switch to your other color. And make a stripe with the next color. Fill that in carefully. And then just take turns. And again, you got to do it very neatly. Now I'm back to teal. And then I'm back to orange. And again, real neatly. Make two lines and I fill in the inside of that. Looks like this would come up and maybe go right over here. And then I'm going to do teal. One across. One, two. I'm going to color all that in. And it looks like I've got room for one more orange. And then maybe just a little tiny bit of teal left in that last corner there. So I'm doing this real carefully because I want to work carefully from start to finish so that it really looks like an awesome piece of art that I can frame or that we can put in Art Sonia and have uh, grandma or grandpa or mom or dad, they can put it on a they're putting them on masks now. You can have a mask printed with uh, your art on it as well, as well as coffee mugs and other things. So Art Sony is really awesome. You can have a Christmas ornament made up. You can put it on a on a purse. You can put it on. Uh, you can put your art on a T-shirt that you can wear around. So they've got some awesome things. So fourth graders, if you're home and uh, you you're sick and you need to continue working on what we're working on here at school. This is the Romero Brito project. So good luck and uh, we will see you soon. Bye bye.